Philip the Car. And I'm Woody Chipper. Some interesting updates today as a recent change to Phantom Force's SMGs has taken effect. Community outcries are mostly negative as this change has made most SMGs, as the kids would say, absolute units. Heckin' busted, no cap for real. In other news, recent manufacturing issues have caused a widespread issue of poorly manufactured hollow point rounds, making them almost completely irrelevant in the modern game space, paving the way for armor piercing rounds to dominate the playing field. We now go to Christopher Crawlin, live at the New Winterage map. Thank you, Philip. As you can see, I'm here at the Brisk New Winterage Arena. After spending an extensive amount of time in testing it has finally made its debut into production, some are calling it crane site we have at home, and honestly, I can understand why. Come with me. Here's a building that will be absolutely packed with snipers. And here's another. And here's another. Now this is the side route everyone will run through to avoid going to the center of the map, where they will inevitably get sniped. And here is the sprawling underground area that absolutely nobody will use because you can't get kills here. And finally, this is where the crane would be. If it had one. Uh, thank you, Chris. It's a shame to see new maps not living up to their creative potential these days. Anyway, we now go to Daniel Dorito on the front lines with our troops fighting for our freedom. As you can see, I'm down here in the trenches, on the front linings, in the thick of the fighting. I'm here with a heroic young man, Kyle, who's been here for months holding this very position. Kyle? How do you feel after spending so much time in the same spot? Yeah, it's no big deal. I probably should have joined the Air Force, but my recruiter said I'd get a Camaro if I signed up right away, so I joined the Army. And do you have anything to say about who you're fighting? I don't really know who I'm fighting or what's different about them. I do know they have different helmets, though, so I don't like them because of that. Is that a metaphor for humans not having as many differences as we may think? What's a metaphor? Is that a Pokemon or something? No, it's like a figure of speech or something that's not literally applicable. Oh, like trustworthy news station? Okay, do you have any final words for the people at home? Oh yeah, stay in school, and don't do drugs, and live a long and happy life. <laughs> yeah, can I get a pizza please? Thank you. Oh, hey, is the segment done already? <clears throat> We now have word of a man attempting to break the Guinness World Record trick shot of a 720 degree quickscope off a crane. We go live to the stream of his attempt. I want to dedicate this shot to my parents, to my dog, to my pet hamster that my dog ate. Rest in peace, Mr. Nibbles. I also want to thank my Red Bull sponsor who bought me this gun. I was going to do this trick with a rock, so this is pretty sweet. Okay, here we go. Three, two, one. Wait, my parachute! We really need to stop taking any segment with risk. I'm pretty sure we have more deaths than live leak at this point. Oh, oh great, real topical. You know what? Our next segment was UFO footage, which would be cool, but I can't be bothered to hype it up anymore. Here you go! Oh my gosh, dude, it's a UFO. Oh my gosh, do you see this? It's just sitting there. Oh my gosh, it's moving, it's moving, look, it's moving. Without any trails or anything, this is crazy, dude. The aliens are coming for us. Are you f***ing kidding me? That was very clearly faked. I don't know, I thought it looked real. You know what? Who cares? Here's a video of a guy getting struck by lightning. Why are we even showing this? You know, I actually wanted to see a guy get struck by lightning. Why would you want to see that, Phil? I don't know. I figured since everyone else is dying on our broadcast that I may as well see a cool one. That's weird, man. You know what? I don't even- Oh? I have word of an emergency segment being sent to us at this very moment. Bring it up, Steve, bring it up. I don't think I have much time. They're onto me. I know too much. It's, it's the government. They're under control from someone. I don't know who or what, but I do know they're incredibly dangerous. Don't trust anyone. Not even your family. They could be one of them. We can't let them take over. Oh no. They're here! Don't let them take over our dog! Be not afraid. I believe there is a quote from your human Bible. I am not here to cause destruction or end your pitiful lives. I have come for much more. Your minds. Do not resist. As you are watching this, 
I have already invaded your mind. I am communicating to you telepathically. I know everything about you. I have control of your leaders and your militaries. Your existence is mine. Your world is mine. Resistance is futile. I look forward to seeing you all in person. As my slaves. You heard it here first, folks. Our new overlord has commanded us to not resist, so that is what we shall do. Do not go outside, do not try to evacuate, do not call your loved ones. Thank you for watching Phantom Forces News. I'm Philip the Car with my co-host, Woody Chipper. Until next time. Music